So let's go into 30 days. They just mentioned 30 days, but I really want to give people hope to try high fat, low carb or zero carb, because there's major effects just in three days or even 30 days. So now 30 days, what are the things that we could see? For example, with your triglycerides, could they be coming down? Uh, they should be coming down by that point, yes. I mean, there's a kind of, there seems to be quite a lag between what your liver gets up to and what you eat. Possibly because there's stores all around your body and it takes a while for them to kind of outbalance themselves. I'm not sure exactly. It gets very, very, you can imagine complicated. This is, this is complicated. But yes, that will be happening. Your triglycerides should come down. Your HDL should go up. Your ratio should narrow. What happens to your LDL? I don't care, but probably nothing. I would imagine, or in some people, if the fat is all being diverted outside of their liver, the VLDL will be dropping down. Your liver will not be needing the LDL, so that some people their LDL might be going up. That doesn't happen in everybody, but it happens in some people. But all these ratios are improving. That's just a sign. But insulin itself, I've just been reading a whole bunch of papers showing that insulin is really quite damaging to your blood vessels. Not not in normal physiological levels, obviously, but when your insulin level goes up, and I'm just looking at that with regard to type 1 diabetes, and people getting high insulin injections, you know, they get in injections of insulin all the time, and they looked at the blood vessel damage, and it is damaging independently of the glucose level. So if your insulin and your sugar are down, you are improving your blood vessels. That is happening. Yes, your energy... Um, your, your sense of having energy should be improved in part just because you're, you you start to lose this sort of wave of, it, of sugar going up, insulin going up, driving it down, and your whole metabolism is kind of going, what are you doing to me? You know, stop it. I need energy and you're, you're knackering me. So yes, that will improve for people and they demonstrate that it does. And so it's overall, you, you should feel more energy. You should feel a bit better, definitely do a lot better. People, especially who have high blood sugar levels, which may seem to make people feel very tired. I'm not sure why. And your blood vessels will be a lot more healthy. Your kidneys, your eyes, and your peripheral nerves will certainly be thanking you for it because they've got a chance to recover. Because very small blood vessels can regrow. I mean, there is a system for that. That happens in your heart. If you block an artery in your heart, that doesn't mean no blood gets down past that artery, the body will have created what they call collateral circulation, which is little blood vessels, a whole network of little blood vessels that will bypass the blockage. I've seen people walking around quite healthy who've got no, who've got all of their coronary arteries are fully blocked. They are surviving on collateral circulation. That is the creation of new small blood vessels. Your body can do this and it will do it better if your blood sugar level and your insulin levels are down because there's more chance of them being healthily created. So there's all sorts of positive benefits going on here. If you were to do high fat, low carb or zero carb for a year, do you think that you could get some plaque regression, especially if it's soft plaque? Don't know. Oh. I think what you're, what I don't know because, and don't worry, I have tried to know this, all right? Uh, and I've spoken to interventional cardiologists. I've looked at the scans. I've, you know, you, the important thing is to stop it progressing, all right? Because they've done a work with um, what they call CAC scanning, coronary artery calcium scanning. If a plaque's been a, in your heart for a long time, it actually, in the end, it calcifies, right? As, as does do other areas of damage in your body. So if you can see a lot of calcium in your arteries, in your heart, it means you have had a lot of atherosclerosis developing. It doesn't tell you it's happening right now because it can't, right? Because this is a process that takes some time. But if you get people who have, even people who have quite a, a high calcium score and you stop it progressing, and um, I, Ivor Cummings, who you may or may not have spoken to, has done a lot of work of this in, 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 in Ireland, shows that your risk reduces to the same risk as people who don't have a lot of calcium in their heart. It's not the amount of calcium that's damaging. It's the fact that that's just telling you you're getting ongoing damage in your heart. You've had it. You've got to stop it. And if you can stop it, then it really doesn't matter if it regresses or not because your risk reduces to, down to what it would have otherwise been.